to end it and relating back to the title of the pod or the pod horny settings what do we think about yay is yay really horny or do we think they really do enjoy this style of dressing that they seem to adopt for each other where you know yay obviously encourages his wife to wear these sort of garments she clearly likes to wear them because we've seen pictures of bianca Sensori before she was with yay you know experimenting and dressing up and wearing some really cool amazing extravagant designs so clearly she loves to be scantily dressed but i'm wondering because when i see this picture the latest one of them where yay's got this amazing all black outfit on and bianca Sensori is wearing this crazy see-through basically seafood dress that kind of looks like a condom like it's been cut off on both ends and she's also wearing these amazing seafood socks that look really cool um with some heels um outside with her bare boobies out and nani out and shit i wonder if this is like what you would imagine would be a swingers couple like if you've ever been out and approached by like a couple like hey we want to take you back to our room and something usually one person in the couple is like usually dressed overtly sexual you know what i mean overtly so whether it's the woman that's got a fucking butt plug on with a fucking light on it that you can see for a skirt or the guy's wearing or the guy's got nipple piercings or something there's usually something about them that you can tell okay or the or, or one of them's wearing a thumb ring right guys who wear thumb rings are definitely horny right always fucking ready to go if you got a thumb ring you're definitely fucking horny or if you got one of those beards where you leave the hair underneath your lip you leave the hair underneath your lip type of thing and you cut everything off, you're definitely a horny guy. So I wonder if this is hints of them being horny or of them just like wanting to wear things completely different to what... Because the thing about Bianca Sensori's style, which I really like, no one else looks like her outside now. Maybe the only thing I can think of that's close to Bianca Sensori's personal sense of style is Lotto Volkova, right? The former stylist of uh, Balenciaga, who's now styling um, Miu Miu, if I'm not mistaken. Last time I checked, I think Volta, Lotta Volkova is um, styling at Miu Miu, but Lotta Volkova's style reminds me a lot of how Bianca Sensori dresses, right? It's very, I would say, I would say kitschy, wherever the vibe is, you know what I'm talking about, right? If you know what she dresses like, but how Lotta Volkova used to dress or dress is reminds me a lot of fucking Bianca Sensori. Um, so I wonder if that was a style inspiration for what they're going for or if it's a completely different thing and it has nothing to do with fucking you know horniness levels and it's just them wanting to express themselves and be fucking the best version of themselves outside i'm not really too sure but whenever i look at bianca sensori i'm always kind of she kind of reminds me of how lotta used to dress like with the kitten heels and the tights and the wild combinations up above and shit um like you know like a lot like you could you could, again maybe the, the shirt's too much of a covering but you could definitely see you know kanye's wife wearing something like this with the oversized shirt the the, the short skirt and shit the toes out with the heels it kind of looks a little bit like something that you know bianca sensori would wear herself even this shirt even this outfit there as well another one and of course there's probably going to be some more too if we keep fucking scrolling here we'll probably see some more this is probably Miu Miu styling as well so i don't know i'm i, I I'm I'm still I'm still on the fence. I'm not really too sure what the if it is a sign that they're both incredibly fucking horny all the time and Kanye just loves seeing her his wife's massive tits in his face all the fucking time or if it's just them vibing and just styling on fucking motherfuckers and reminding people, hey, we are the most stylish couple out here on these streets. Don't fucking play with us. I wonder. I'm really curious because that is a crazy outfit. Because I already said, like, it's already a big challenge for dudes. It's something you have to kind of get used to and you only get used to it by dating more people. But it's always a challenge when you hook up with your first conventionally hot person as a guy because you have to deal with that attention they're going to get when you're out, right? Regular guy is just going to look and turn and say, oh shit, your girl's got a massive ass. You know what I mean? And just whatever, right? Guys are going to be guys. So you have to learn how to navigate that field. It's very hard to do, especially if you're a dude that's very possessive and stuff to kind of handle that kind of stuff, which is, you know, it is what it is. But over time, you learn to just get over it. It's not a big deal. People are allowed to look. As long as they don't touch or be rude, it's all well and good. But, but with this level, this is another level. She's out with her full fucking mummy milk is out batty out pussy out it's like god damn son how do you handle that one then you know like <laughs> that must be a hard one it, even more so for her because i remember one time when i was in Ber bergheim 
I went to Bergheim this one time, right? And I think I was just too high or something. I, I don't even know what I was doing. I was just standing in Bergheim main floor and I was at the back where there's like a railing, if you know where, you know, next to the stairs. And I was just like staring it out into the distance, you know, probably rolling on some E. And I, I, I was just staring out. I wasn't even looking at anything. But every time the light would flash next to the front, there'd be this girl that was topless there that would just like catch my eye. But I wasn't looking at her. I was looking in the direction where the light was. But then I guess at one time, our eyes caught each other and she immediately felt self-conscious when she saw me because it looked like I was staring at her straight away. But I wasn't. I was just staring in the direction. And I remember having to like turn my head away and be like, okay, cool, do your thing. And then obviously she got more comfortable and kind of did her thing. But it's probably one of those unavoidable things. If you're a woman and you've got big tits, and they happen to be out in any way, whether it's cleavage or whether your nipples are showing in your, under your shirt, you must be able to tell, even with your back turned to the person, you can probably feel a man's eyes burning through the back of your fucking spine. So how much more when you're a woman like this and you've got this sheer dress on? That must be a what? So say, say what you want about how, oh, how's Kanye deal with it? How does she deal with it? Like all that unwanted, again, it's different because they're celebrities, they pull up in a fucking, you know, in a fucking Hummer, they pull up in a Porsche and duck out, I get it, but you still have to be, you know, around people, you still have to walk down the street to the cinema, you still have to walk up the, around the corner to the restaurant, you still have to get out of the car, I mean, it's a bit, it's a lot, so I, I salute the bravery, I'm not going to lie. I love the bravery of people who get dressed up every day like they're going to a fucking fashion week. I think that's also incredible. And I also salute the bravery of women like this who are like, I'm stepping out. And it's obviously comfortable because you're with your man, fair. But I'm stepping out like this. Like, look at me wherever you want, but this is what I'm about. Do you know what I mean? This is my personal sense of style. This is how I feel the most chic, the most together, the most sexy, whatever it may be. Um, but I rate it. I'm not going to lie. I, rate, I fucking love it. Because I don't even know what that material is. It looks a bit shiny-ish. It looks almost like, it looks almost silkish in a way, like translucent or transparent silk. I don't know what kind of material it is, but whatever material it is, like everything is fucking showing. Everything. God damn. And the socks as well. But yeah. And I also like how Kanye kind of compliments her by just wearing plain black. You know what I mean? He lets her be the loud one. And this goes back to my thesis. I've always said, oh, look, poor, poor pussy. Yeah. This goes back to my thesis. I've always said that I think fashion is always for women and style is for men. So men should have style, women should be into fashion because fashion's fleeting and trend based. And I don't think guys can do that kind of trendy, fashion y type of dressing well. I think guys do style well, whether it's like wearing a nice leather jacket with a nice pair of jeans or a nice pair of boots. Do you know what I mean? And just kind of iterating that same style throughout the years and kind of refining it but the fashion thing it just doesn't work with us so that's why i think as a compliment as a guy the great way to kind of compliment your partner is to allow your woman to go crazy and do whatever right and then you just kind of you know hold it down with a nice suit a nice kind of you know he's got this nice oversized black look going on and it actually compliments the other person better as well i think so personally and also you know kanye is the artist isn't it so he all his creativity should go into his art and then he should save his personal dress sense as a uniform just to kind of be basic, you know? I think that's a personal, probably the best way to go about it. And obviously Bianca Sanzuri more so is, you know, she's basically her artwork or her, her canvas is her body. So it makes sense why her dress sense is a little bit more, her sense, personal sense of style is a bit more out there because why the fuck not? So yeah, I'm for it. I'm for it. I love it. Um, I'm not too sure if it's horny times. It might be horny times. If it is, you know what I mean? Would people take it up? Would would people beat Kanye to beat her? <laughs> if Holy Times involved Kanye having to sit in a room watching you clap his wife's cheeks, like, would you be down? I'm not too sure, man. He's my hero. I can't do that to him, man. I love him too much. I have to turn down the offer. I'd have to turn down the fucking offer. Big up. Yay. Big up, my nigga. Yay.